Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a daily reading for the 29th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, so yeah. Typically these readings play out anywhere from the day of to a week later. I had something that I did a daily on a week ago that played out today. So keep that in mind. The timing is always fluid. This is just an, a preview energy that I'm picking up on. Okay, This reading is not sign specific. This is a daily energy or an energy that's coming. All right, We're going to get one of these for an overall energy and we're going to see what comes up. What do we got coming up? Uh, the the rest of the Julys, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, they're they're right around the corner. So just please be patient. So let's see what we got. What do we have for the 29th? Hope, hope. This is the star card. This is wish. Remember, we have we've been having this a lot. This is, you know, a wish being granted. Don't lose hope. A wish is about to be granted. But this wish that is about to be granted may not be exactly how you envisioned it. Okay? And this is light. Okay? This is very enlightening energy. So, you know, whatever is happening, there is some sort, I think there's some sort of light that is going to be shed. Um, and now this is really bright this is like a bright star it really is so something is shining shining bright okay something is shining very very brightly um, I hate on the bottom of the deck is the emperor reversed So, I mean, this is giving up control. Somebody, you know, has been losing their concentration and losing their focus, clinging to control. Things are unstable, insecure. Somebody may have be, be stubborn. They may be stubbornly holding on to something, holding on to the, to the need to control, I don't know. Hmm. You know, you have to surrender to get your wish. Surrendering is a big deal. And a lot of people don't realize that, you know. You wish, you wish for it, and you believe in it, and it will come, but... It may not be the way that you envisioned, okay? Let go of the control and surrender to whatever is meant to be, will be, okay? Um, the star is also a card of inspiration and healing and peace and renewal, okay? So, we have this bright star shining, Whatever that means, it's like a wish is a, a big wish by the looks of things is about to happen. Yeah, did I not say something is the light is about to be shown? This is the moon reversed. Some, and you know, this is pretty prominent, you know, for the last few readings. Something is about to be come to light, something that has been hidden. Something is about to be shown. Now, the star card, that's, that's heaven sent. It, it really is. <laughs> Something is about to be revealed. The light is about to be shown. And I, I see that. I do see that. So yeah, the light is about to be shown on a situation that has been, you know... Hidden. It's been something, you know, something is not as it seems. And it's funny that I started this out with your, your wish may not be what it seems. And that's what this is. Your wish may be fulfilled, but not the way that you thought it was going to be fulfilled. Something 
six of pentacles receiving somebody's going to be receiving something look at that moon oh my god this has to do with the moon this has to do with the new moon or the eclipse or the full moon or something like that and look at how bright it is something is I don't want to keep repeating myself somebody's about to receive something that they have been waiting for And somebody's been waiting for this, waiting for the perfect time. Golden opportunity. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles. This is a golden opportunity. Somebody has manifested something. This is the hand of God offering somebody a big, huge, golden opportunity. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. And it's a wish. A wish. Somebody's wish is about to be granted. And I hate to give people false hope, but... Somebody's wish is about to be granted, but it's not the wish that it's not going to be fulfilled the way that you thought. So, you know, you may have tried to, you know, manifest something with a name on it or something in particular. That's not it. This is not going to this. Whatever this is, is not what you think it is. OK, you're going to receive something pertaining to your wish, but it's not what you think it is. King of Swords. You know, notice he's pushing somebody away. He's pushing somebody. He's protecting something. He's not letting anybody get close. We have some, and he's got wings. Is that wings? This King of Swords, this King of Swords is being very protective. Looks to me like he has made a decision to not let anybody change his mind or to not let anybody, you know, come too close. This guy... is very comfortable where he's at. He's very wise. It looks like he's telling somebody no. It's like he's he's pushing somebody away. Like he's saying back off before you get hurt. I don't know what that means, but we have the King of Swords here. That's uh Libra, Aquarius or Gemini. There could be an altercation. There could be some sort of altercation. I just gotta, I just gotta throw that out there because that's what it looks like on the, on the card, where somebody says, "You know what? I'm gonna do what I have to do. Back up before you get hurt. That kind of thing." This is the death card. But it's reversed. This is holding on to a dead end and it's getting old. Somebody has been reluctant to release. They've been reluctant to let go. They've been reluctant to start over holding on to a dead end. But something is about to change, okay? Something is about to be brought to light. Somebody is going to receive some sort of enlightenment of some sort or some sort of revelation or some sort of help, per se, from above. I don't know. 
It's like that somebody is absolutely receiving some sort of gift. And that is a gift as well. Somebody's receiving some sort of gift. Probably this gift, whatever it is, is is ha is coming or this help that is coming, even if it's help from your ancestors or somebody that has passed away, whatever, I don't know. Somebody is receiving some sort of... Well, they're going to receive peace in the end, okay, because that is a card of peace. But anyway, somebody is going, somebody is receiving something that is going to help them to release by the looks of things. They've been reluctant to release. Interesting. Seven of Swords. Ten of Swords. This is the end. This is the end. The end of D betrayal okay we got the end of deception something is coming to an end some sort of deception is coming to an end some sort of lie some sort of betrayal all right something is coming to an end that is the, this is the end and this is betrayal and this is betrayal somebody is about to receive some sort of gift or some sort of opportunity I don't think I've ever seen the Knight of Pentacles move very fast, but that Knight of Pentacles is moving. I'm serious, like he's being chased. That Knight of Pentacles is moving. This man has a plan, it's not, and he saw it coming. Queen of Pentacles. Golden opportunity, right under this golden opportunity. So, we got somebody here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be dealing with the Pisces. Could be dealing with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn again. We have Scorpio here. We have Aquarius up there. But we have a serious, a seriously big opportunity here. Somebody is going to get it. Look at that. He's got the pentacle and he's on. He is moving, moving. No time to waste. This guy is trying to want to run away from something. He's trying to get away from something. What is he getting away from? These wolves. Interesting. Let's get the last card here. What's the, what is the last card? Oh God, the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords. This is a card of exhaustion. This is the death of an idea. Somebody is letting go of the idea of holding on. Yeah, yeah, that's what we got here. Somebody is, is has been holding on to a dead end. And it's like now they see that it is time to, that, they, that, that maybe they, they were dealing with a wolf. They were dealing with a predator. And now they've been guided to protect themselves. And it's like there's there's like there's like guidance. I think feeling like this is somebody that has passed away. I mean, yesterday was about father. This guy has wings. I don't know. It doesn't have to be somebody that passed away. I don't know. This guy is like pushing somebody away. <laughs> so I feel like the 29th we have somebody here that something is coming to an end. Some sort of 
betrayal that has been hidden, some sort of lie that has been, or fantasy, because the moon is about fantasy, some sort of try escape, you know, trying to escape reality is coming to an end. There is some, I just got the goosebumps, there is somebody, there is somebody from above, okay, there's somebody from above that is, is guiding another person, there's no doubt, there's no doubt about it, and it's like this person sees, this person is receiving, you know, sees it, this person sees that somebody is watching, that somebody is helping, <laughs> this is kind of similar to yesterday's. Some sort of truth is about to be revealed. Somebody from the other side. I don't care who it is. There is somebody from the other side that is trying to help. And they are giving somebody or they're trying to lead somebody towards a huge golden opportunity. Somebody is seeing the light in a situation. They are. They are. The, whatever has been hidden is about to be revealed. Um... This is the death of an idea. Somebody has been holding on to the thought or the idea, some sort of fantasy, some sort of lie, some sort of fake situation. Probably lying to themselves. But it feels like there's some sort of, this is a reality. This is reality check. So I think that somebody is going to get some sort of reality check somehow. This is all that is real, something that you can touch. This is reality. So I feel as though we have somebody here that is, is about to accept responsibility because the Knight of Pentacles is very responsible. He has a lot of integrity. So, and I feel like we ha maybe it's a father that has passed. I don't know. I don't know, or if it's a father in this lifetime that is still alive, or it's, a, it's I think it's a, I think it's a male. I do. I think that we have somebody here that is guiding somebody to do the right thing, be practical. This guy is moving. He is taking action. He took that golden opportunity. He's now the opportunity is in his hand. So I think that what happens is is there's some sort of enlightenment here. Some sort somebody gets some sort of epiphany. Okay? That this is a big, bright opportunity. That, you know, it's something that you could really take to the bank. Something that, you know, could last. Something that, you know, is, it's huge. It's huge. Um, This is mental exhaustion. Somebody has become mentally exhausted by holding on to this fantasy that they have been living. Trying to escape all that is real and practical. And I think we have somebody here that is, you know, wanting to... I mean, this person... knows what they did was wrong put it that way this person knows this person knows what they did was wrong and now it's like now they want to give now they now they want to heal they want to heal a situation you know they or they want to heal themselves after living some sort of lie maybe they got this renewed hope to live again it's like 
I deserve reciprocation. I deserve something solid. I deserve something practical. I deserve something real. This, she's very practical. She's very... Um, responsible, disciplined, loyal, motherly, whoever this Queen of Pentacles is. She knows her value. And it's like she's not offering anything. This Queen of Pentacles, she's keeping it to herself, waiting. She's waiting. She's This person is waiting. She's very grounded. She's uh, down to earth. She doesn't chase. She doesn't. She doesn't. She's not that kind of person. She just, she's not. She's slow, you know, she's slow to move. She's not in a hurry. She's not in a hurry. She's waiting. She's waiting for this person. She's waiting for the somebody to see what she has to offer. Whoever this person is, I think somebody is coming to, you know, <laughs> Well, it looks like this guy's got the pentacle in his hand. She's just waiting. And here here this person comes to, you know, sweep her off her feet. So, yeah. This is... Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius. I think I already said that. But anyway, somebody is about to receive something that they have been waiting for. And it's like this is this this opportunity is so big that they can't they can't deny it. It's like I mean the Ten of Swords, this is the end. It's the end of a painful situation. It's the end of suffering. It's the end of waiting. Because here somebody is arriving and they're and they're coming quick. They're coming fast. It's like <laughs> there's no time to waste. This person is moving at a very high speed. Maybe this person is moving so quickly because he wants to stop another person from getting the opportunity. You know? That's what it looks like to me. Anyway. Hmm. The hermit. Somebody's coming out of hiding. Somebody absolutely has been enlightened. They have been enlightened. Ten of Cups reversed. Nine of Cups reversed. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> and the Ace of Cups on the bottom. So this is love, a new opportunity. We got somebody here who has been holding their own. Yes, we do. We do. We got somebody here that has been restraining themselves. You see where it is? Somebody has been restraining themselves from... rushing from jumping from you know acting impulsively we have somebody here that has gone within taken time to introspect they've been restraining themselves they've been working on themselves they've been gaining their strength gaining their courage gaining their 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 power we have somebody here that has be, be get, been becoming stronger and stronger day by day They've been manifesting. They've been working really hard to hold their own. 
you know, taking time alone to refocus and to heal from this painful separation that they have been in, been through. And now somebody is arriving very quickly to help. That's what we got here. And this is Ace of Cups. This is love. This is a, a new opportunity for love. After somebody has been and through a lot of pain. Ten of Cups reversed. This, it's like somebody has... This is, the, this is the end of a relationship. This is the end. Somebody hasn't been focused on a relationship. They haven't been putting energy into a relationship. But now it's like they see the, they see the value in a relationship. It's like now they realize the deep bond or they realize the opportunity to have a deep bond. With the Nine of Cups reversed, things are about to look up. This is think about it and wish for it and will it will come. Deep fulfillment is coming. Some sort of deep wish fulfillment is coming. That's what we got here. And this has to do with love. It absolutely does. Somebody's about to seize the opportunity. Because it's too good to pass up. It's like this is such a bright opportunity. I mean, this could lead to something really long term, something something really stable, something that could really last. Abundant love, abundance and love. Somebody's, somebody's been enlightened that it's time to go. It is. And it's like they're not wasting another minute. Somebody is letting go of a dead end. They are. This is a dead end and this is a dead end. Somebody is letting go of a dead end for deeper fulfillment. They've been guided to do so. And because they do, some sort of wish is about to be granted because they own it. Because they take the power back, because they own their power, because they do what's right for them. They do the right thing. They act with integrity. Whatever. This is. I'm telling you what. Because somebody does the right thing, they are going to get some sort of wish fulfilled. But whatever this wish is, it's not what you think it is. So stop thinking you know. Because you don't. You don't. This, this hand that you, somebody is being given a hand. And in this hand is a solid, long term opportunity that you can absolutely hold on to. Something that you can keep, something that will last, something that will bring you abundance and emotional fulfillment. And, and you get this because you found your strength to let go of a relationship. This is a relationship that didn't work out. And follow your own path to deeper fulfillment. Because somebody found the strength and the courage and the confidence to face their fears, that they're receiving a hand from above. Something is about to come to light. Something is about to come in that has been below the surface. And this is coming because somebody believed and trusted and listened 
and surrender.